Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about adding unlimited facial features to your character in Cartoon Animator 4. And in this tutorial we're going to be using the pipeline version, the Photoshop uh, pipeline. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment, but also show you how to uh, do the same thing using the Pro version, if you only have the Pro version as well. Okay, so on the screen right now we have this little girl character. If you want to take a look at her, you can find her under uh, Character, under the Actor tab, Character, G3360. Uh, G3360 human and then there's a miscellaneous folder in here and you'll find her at the bottom sandy girl right here Okay, so we're gonna take a look at uh, this character's facial components I'm gonna zoom in on her face right here and if we go over to our face key editor We can uh, take a look at what it uh, what this face can do. I will just move the face key editor a little bit further up here Oops. There we go and uh, So if we click our mouse over this area here, there's a little gizmo. It'll allow us to uh, Click and drag and move our character in 360 degree, almost 360 degree fashion. Okay, so you can see you can rotate the character just like this and looks fairly realistic, simulating the appearance of a 360 degree head. However, we're just manipulating uh, various facial components and sprites on the face. And I'll show you how you can add those facial components in just a moment here. Uh, if you go over to the uh, transform tab up here, you can see all the different facial features. So like the eyebrows, um, the eyes, you can, you can move them all around if you want. You can resize them, rotate them if you want. You can click on them like this. Now this character's nose has two components, this nose and this little line here uh, called nose two. It's a child of this nose uh, component here. Uh, there's mouth as well. Now the hair is a bit uh, complex on this character. If we click on front hair, you can see we have three different parts of the front hair moving. Okay, just like this. There's front hair left and front hair right. Okay, you can move them separately. And the back hair as well, there's a whole back hair part, okay? Um, you can uh, click on this like back hair left right here. There's this one, this part right here. And back hair L2, it looks really thin right now, but if we rotate our character's head like this direction, you'll notice that it actually, uh, move our face key editor out of the way. It's actually this section here, okay? This kind of, again, it simulates the three-dimensional uh, look. Um, so if you move it like this, it'll get smaller and larger and uh, that's where it goes. And the same thing on the other side as well. You can see the other side we have the uh, back hair R2 as well. And there's a blush, uh, character, uh, blush on the character's cheeks there. So really you can have unlimited facial components. Just have a lot of fun with this. Um, throwing all kinds of components onto your character's face. And uh, we'll show you how to add stuff in just a moment. I'm going to close this down right now. I'm going to take this character off the screen. We'll actually just start a new project here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and find this basic character under the same miscellaneous folder. You'll find Elastic Folks Male uh, Front Facing. Uh, F stands for Front Facing there. And you can see here, really simple guy. And we're going to use this to kind of keep things simple when we're adding uh, different sprites onto our character. Okay, you can see his face. Simple looking fella. We'll open the face key editor again here. And uh, man, same thing. Very similar facial components. Except this guy only has the basic stuff, okay? He only has the basics, the front hair, one front hair and one back hair, um, eyes, left brow. Okay, so his, his uh, hierarchy here is a bit, uh, a bit more simple, uh, a bit simpler than uh, the previous character we just showed. So what we're going to do now is go into the composer. And in the, in the composer, what we're going to do is add facial sprites. So this is the same for Pro and Pipeline. Just go into composer with your character selected. And composer, again, is where you can uh, add sprites onto your character. We're not going to show the bones in this case since we don't really need to worry about bones in this tutorial. And let's just zoom in on his face. Okay, so over here in the layer manager, you can see the character has you know, all his hands and, and feet and all that stuff, all the different sprites. And then there's a talking head here. You can twirl it up, you can twirl it down. You can see all the different components here, all laid out nicely. Okay, so the front hair underscore one, it's this front hair part. It's actually masked out. And that'll actually show in Photoshop later on because we're using... Um, cartoon animator masking that uh, Photoshop doesn't support. Okay, and it'll actually show, but uh, not to worry, we can mask it out in cartoon animator. Now, if you have the pro version, the way that you're gonna add sprites to your character is as we discussed in a previous tutorial, is just go ahead and press this plus button here. Okay, that's gonna add an image and that's gonna add sprites onto your character that way. Okay, um, so you can add facial components that way pretty easily. However, uh, since we're using the pipeline version, we're going to go ahead and launch this in Photoshop. Okay, so with my uh, character selected, the talking head, we can go over here to launch PSD, uh, launch to external PSD editor. I'm going to select head and body in one file. I'm going to uh, scale up the image scale to the maximum value here. 
and we're going to just edit the current angle. You can see it's going to be a PSD resolution of this much here. All those numbers that I want to read, and we'll go ahead and launch it. It'll notify you that the vector element will be converted to an image element, and that's fine. Just press OK. And it's going to launch that character up in Photoshop here. All right. There we go. So here's the uh, the front hair part that I mentioned before that uh, is masked out in Cartoon Animator. It looks a bit weird in Photoshop, but we'll just have to ignore that for now. Okay. So it looks like he has a big afro. Okay. Um, so we'll just uh, zoom in on his face since that, that's what we're focusing on right now. You can see the face has, you know, a bunch of crosses on it. Um, so immediately what you want to do is take a look at the layers over here. Okay. So the layers, there's this uh, RL Bone Human uh, folder here. Okay. And in this is all the bones for your character's body. Okay. So if you click this, all the bones on your character's body are going to appear. If I zoom out here a little bit, let's uh, zoom out and you can see the bone human. Okay. You can make those visible or invisible. Those are just bone reference points. We talk a lot more about all this stuff in detail in our Crazy Talk Animator 3 tutorials, uh, tutorial series on the PSD pipeline. Okay. And you can check out those in the Learning Center. Um, so there's the RL talking head. Okay. That's the whole head. So we don't want to remove that. Um, RL image is all the images for the body. Okay. And then there's like, you know, individual parts like the left hand, left arm. Okay. And if you twirl down into these, you'll just find uh, the R hand has a different number of different hand sprites as well. Um, that's a bit complex. We're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, the only one I want to go into really here is the RL talking head. Okay. So we'll go into there. And you'll notice that there is the head bones. Okay, so all the bones here for the head, if we deselect that, we can remove all those bones. Let's just remove all the bones on the character for now here. Okay, and there we go. So now um, we just have the images. Okay, and the images can all be found in this center folder. Okay, now in Crazy Talk Animator 3, this folder used to be called head image. Because this is a, a uh, front facing profile, okay, we, we loaded it in the, it's, it's loaded as center. Okay. So this is just the front facing center profile. If we twirl down that, we'll find all the different sprites. Okay. So left eye, um, right brow. Okay. You'll find all the images in here. Um, right eye, you can you know, make that invisible or visible. Um, nose, visible or invisible. Okay. And so this is where you can use all of Photoshop's tools to modify all the different facial components on your character. But what we're going to do is we're going to load in a different file here. I'm going to load in a, um, whoops, do, 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 do. This one here. Okay, so here we have a PSD file that contains some blush for the cheeks, a uh, cool looking uh, 1800 style mustache here, a little curly handlebar mustache, and uh, a, a look, looks like a butt, but it's uh, actually the, the chin of the character, okay? Kind of like uh, Peter Griffin from Family Guy. It's like a kind of a cleft chin here, all right? Now you can also add sprites to your character in Cartoon Animator 4 just by using the Add Sprite tool. But in this tutorial, we're going to focus on adding them via Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to just basically copy all of these items. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to press the uh, V key to move. I'm going to click and drag and move them all the way into this folder or into this uh, PSD file here. Okay. I'll just place them on the character's face and you'll see, boom, those will appear under our uh, center folder here as their own individual parts. Okay. And you can make them visible or invisible. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to just kind of position these relatively, you know, uh, the way that I want. Chin, we'll just take the chin and kind of move it down here. Um, the mustache, click on the mustache and bring it down, we'll cover most of the mouth there. And those, those blush cheeks, we need to put those in proper position as well. Maybe something like this would be okay. And uh, the right blush, bring that down as well. Maybe try and, uh, you know, align it with the one on the right there. Okay, just like that. And... I think that'll be fine. And again, just ignore this big uh, brown afro here that uh, is not masked out. Okay, let's just uh, there we go. All right, so that's our character. We're gonna we're gonna bring all those components in, and the way we just the way we can update our character, all we gotta do is go to File and Save. Okay, and when we save that, it's gonna update automatically in Cartoon Animator, and we can go ahead and close Photoshop down, and you can see it's updating right now. All right, so there's the update, and our character is complete with the mustache. However, uh, like in the previous tutorials, we need to make sure that the facial components are aligned at the different angle points for the 360 head. Okay, so when you're going to go ahead and launch it in, uh, launch our 360 head creator here, and of course we need to make sure that the, all these are aligned here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just leave the uh, the layer order like this because I think it's fine. In some situations, you may find that your your layer order needs needs to change a little bit. Maybe you'd want to put your nose above your mustache or, or you know something like that. 
Um, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is right now, just for simplicity's sake. Okay. So when we select like a different angle uh, point, like the left one here, we need to move all those facial components. So I'm going to move the cheek over here, this blush cheek over here, and our mustache, and move right here. And the uh, chin, we're going to move that over here as well, and we're going to just uh, rotate it just like this. Okay. And maybe make it a tiny bit smaller. Okay. Just like that should be fine and dandy. Okay. Um, you can also use the uh, deform tool to kind of just, uh, let's use a two by two here. Uh, you can adjust the perspective slightly of, uh, you know, different uh, elements. We're definitely going to need that for the mustache here. Okay. So for the mustache, if we just, uh, you know, take these parts down here, let's uh, actually just not use this one. Let's use the uh, control Z that. Let's use the perspective one. This is more useful for this type of uh, work here. So you can click and you can change the perspective just like that. And then go to transform and we'll just make it, you know, a lot, uh, since he's kind of facing to the side now, we'll have to make it thinner like that. Okay. And I think that'll be a good position right there. And I think everything else looks fine and dandy. Okay. Uh, for the cheek and the eyebrow, we can, we can mask out the eyebrow or we can keep it like that. It doesn't really matter. All we got to do here is go to uh, mask. Okay. Mask or unmask. Okay. It's like this. And we can do the same thing for the, uh, the right brow here as well. Okay. And we'll go from there. Okay. So that's the one angle. Then we need to do the, uh, the other two, uh, the other four angles actually. So the bottom left here, I will just do the same thing. Basically place the mustache there. Let's make it a bit uh, thinner. Okay. Just like this. Um, and you can possibly rotate it slightly as well and deform with perspective. Let's bring that uh, side in like that. And let's put our, uh, our chin here in the position that is down here. And that's going to be a bit smaller at that angle. Okay. And just sort of like this slightly. And we need to put those blush blushes in the right place as well. Okay. She blushes just like that. All right. And then same thing, upper left. And we're going to mirror all this in just a moment here. Maybe you may be familiar with mirroring as we did in the uh, previous tutorial. Um, let's just kind of put all the stuff into a uh, position here. Rotate it slightly. And you can see here that uh, although it's masked, the uh, the blush is getting in the way of the mustache. So that's something that you want to avoid. Okay, just uh, make it thinner here and deform, just like this. There we go. And let's move up a little bit there as well. All right, and we need to make sure that that uh, right cheek there is not in the way of our mustache. Let's move our uh, our butt chin up here a little bit and uh, rotate it like this. This is going to be smaller here as well, just like that, and possibly rotate a little bit more. And I think we're going to be good at that angle there. And then we just need to do the up and the bottom, or the up and down rather. Okay, so this one like this. Okay, now in this position, we probably don't want to mask the eyebrow. So let's take that eyebrow and uh, unmask it. Okay, and bring our mustache up as well. There we go. And our uh, chin. Up like that. That's looking fine. And of course, here you can see that the problem here is that the mustache is now behind the cheek blush. So what we want to do here is we want to click and drag this mustache and click and drag it up a layer like that. Okay, so it's in front of the, the cheek. And we probably want to do that at all the angles here as well because the mustache always needs to be above the, uh, the uh, cheek or the blush, whatever you want to call it. Okay, just like that. And bottom. And every um, profile angle you want to have your character the uh <laughs> this one looks pretty funny uh you want to have the mustache in front of those uh those cheeks here so let's take this uh this chin down here and probably uh flatten it a little bit a little bit smaller there okay so this one should not be not be as noticeable Bring the mustache down okay and the uh blushes again the cheeks are at the, right here and I think we'll uh, we'll go from there. Just bring that mustache down. All right, I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and preview this and take a look at all the angles. So I think yeah, looking okay. All right, just like this, and looks looking good to me. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to mirror that to the uh, to the other side. Okay, so let's take the preview off here, and I'll just go ahead and select the uh, left angle profile angle point here first. And just go up to mirror. Now for those cheeks, what we want to do is we want to select, uh, we want to pair them, okay? For those cheek blushes, let's go to pairing here and change the cheeks. So 
left blush and right blush. So we're going to set those as paired facial components. And then we'll just go ahead and select all. We don't want to have Sprite. Uh, let's just go ahead and apply that. And it's going to mirror right there. Now you're going to have to mask, of course, uh, as well. So let's, we'll go ahead and do that in just a moment here. Um, this angle here, we'll apply the same thing. This angle here, we'll apply. And there we go. Okay. Um, and again, we have to just mask out the, uh, just close the mirror options there and mask out that uh, left blush. Okay. So this one here and this one and this one, and it's looking fine. So now we have all those facial components in position and we've masked out properly. We set the layers and everything like that properly. And so this is the result we're going to have, right? Here's our character, the preview looking fine and dandy with his, uh, his butt chin moving around with his, with his face there. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Um, that's using the Photoshop uh, pipeline to add uh, stuff onto your character. Now, one last thing you may wanna do here is adjust the layers at different angle profiles. So at the beginning here, at the bottom rather, you can see the nose should probably be above the mustache because you know the mustache should be kinda, of, the nose will be overhanging the mustache if we're looking at him from above. Whereas if we're looking at him like from below like this, the mustache could you know kind of be in front of the nose, it doesn't really matter because obviously the, the mustache is the first thing we'll see from our perspective. But from this perspective, it looks a little strange to have the mustache in front of the, uh, the nose. So what we can do here is we can just click and drag that mustache and take it below the nose, okay? So just click and drag just like this and bring it down below the nose right there. Now we also wanna take the chin because the chin <laughs> needs to be below the nose as well there. So uh, we'll have a result like that. So now the mustache is gonna be behind the nose. Whereas at the uh, top angle profile, it's gonna be in front of the nose, okay? And it really depends. Um, you can also go down here and you can take that mustache and, and uh, you know move it up a little bit as well. So it's kind of like in front of the nose and you can maybe even put it a little bit below the nose. So mustache um, below the nose here like that. Um, and then of course the chin has to follow suit because it's not gonna be, otherwise it's gonna look weird. So you could have a result like that as well. And uh, you know, from the up from the top angle, uh, we'll just keep the mustache in front of the nose since we're looking at it from a kind of a different angle. And then if we uh, mirror that one more time, so we'll have to just go ahead and mirror from here. And this time we're going to make sure we have layer on selected. Okay, so just like this, and it's gonna keep that same layer. And then from here, um, we'll just go ahead and apply the mirror one more time, and it's gonna mirror uh, below the uh, nose there as well. Okay, so then if we preview, you can see down here, the nose will kind of go up in front of the mustache, which is the result that we want. Up here, the mustache can kind of go in front of the nose since you know, it's kind of a nondescript nose, all right? But uh, that's how you can uh, change the layers from different angles there as well, okay? So from here down to here, the nose will be in front of the mustache, okay? Since that's the perspective we're looking at. All right, so that's really about all there is to it, guys. Uh, once you're finished uh, with all that messing around, you can go ahead and uh, close down your 360 head creator and we'll go back into uh, stage mode here. Now keep in mind that when you go back into stage mode, it's going to uh, sever that connection with Photoshop. So you won't be able to save automatically um, from updates in Photoshop anymore. You'll have to reload the character and relaunch him in Photoshop again. Okay, so let's take a look at a quick uh, animation. We'll go over here to our content manager and to our animation tab into perform G3360. And there's one down here, um, where is it here, called uh, Roger Positive. And let's go ahead and double click that and apply it to our character. Yes, sir. Pancakes coming right up. All right, so you can see the nice results with the uh, facial animation. We'll pay yes, back one sir. more time. Pancakes coming right up. All right, and we can you know zoom out a little bit if we want to kind of see the entire uh, body as he gets in motion there. Yes, sir. Pancakes coming right up. Kind of makes me hungry for pancakes. Anyways, but that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot here in, uh, on how to uh, add different layers onto your character in Photoshop, uh, modify them using the 360 head creator, and uh, all sorts of different ways you can customize your character's uh, face by adding unlimited sprites, unlimited facial components um, to your character. All right, so again, thanks so much for watching, and uh, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.